This time on One Man's Movies, I'm looking at the new Gerard Butler action movie, Cop Shop. I'm not a psychopath. I'm a professional. Anthony Lamb. I'm going by the more friendly and less form of Tony. That is a psychopath. Bob, are we going to duel to the death? Anthony, I need you to clear off my contract. How about competing parties for one Theodore Moretto? Man, there's something that really grates with me about that trailer. In the movie, Teddy Moretto is arrested for deliberately punching rookie cop Valerie Young, played by Alexis Lauder. He's incarcerated within Gun Creek City Police Station. Soon after that, Bob Vidic, played by Gerard Butler, is arrested for drunk driving and put in the opposite cell. It's clear that both men deliberately intended to get themselves there, but why? The wheels come off the night big time though when psychopath Anthony Lamb, played by Toby Huss, arrives. He's there on the same mission as Vidic. This is a park your brain at the door action movie and the three male leads clearly have a lot of fun with their roles. Gerard Butler in particular seems to revel in playing a bad guy for once. But the standout performance for me came from Alexis Lauder who is genuinely impressive in this movie. There's power and confidence in some of the stillness of many of her close-ups. The script also has some pretty good lines with some laugh out loud moments that I really wasn't expecting. However, it went and threw all of those positives out of the window by including some ludicrous plot decisions. There's one particular what the fuck moment in the finale, which I found genuinely insulting to my intelligence. Another gripe was that the sound mix allowed the incessant music to drown out a lot of the dialogue at times. What's particularly frustrating for me about Cop Shop is there is a nice little action thriller buried in here struggling to get out, something along the lines of Assault on Precinct 13. But for the reasons given above, I'm giving Cop Shop just two and a half stars out of five, unfortunately making it a... Read my full review at bobthemovieman.com.